This is your Tech News Briefing for Monday, February 13th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Facebook parent Meta has been having trouble getting users on to its metaverse. Its platform called Horizon Worlds had fewer than 200,000 monthly active users this past October, according to internal documents reported on by The Wall Street Journal last fall. But the company is revamping its strategy, according to a memo sent to the team working on the initiative reviewed by the journal. It's going after younger users. Joining us to discuss this approach and how Meta plans to attract teens and young adults is our social media reporter, Salvador Rodriguez. Hi, Sal. Welcome back to the show. Hey, Zoe. Thanks for having me again. Sal, how does Meta plan to attract more young users? Yeah, so what they're going to be doing this year as opposed to last year is in 2022, there was a big emphasis on having the users of Horizon themselves go in and make worlds that populated this metaverse for the company. What we're seeing in their new strategy that was outlined recently is that they want a greater emphasis placed on experiences and worlds built by second party studios. So really what they want is they want worlds built out by People that are closer to video game designers as opposed to everyday Horizon users. And we've already seen some of this in the time that Horizon has existed. The most notable example is this world that was built in partnership with the NBA called NBA Arena. So if you're a Horizon user, you should expect to see more of these professional-like worlds populate Horizon in the coming months. We're talking about Meta wanting to attract younger users to Horizon Worlds. How young are we talking? Yeah, so the plan is to open up the service to teenagers ages 13 to 17. So that would essentially expand from what's available now, which is 18 and up. And the reasoning behind this is that these are the generations of users that have grown up with the Internet throughout their entire lives. They're used to interacting with others remotely, especially after living through this pandemic. And not only that, but these are the users who, you know, have the free time to enjoy the metaverse. But also they are so young that if you get them on this service early, this is a user that you will have probably for a long time. Can you tell us a little bit more about your sourcing? How do you know this? Yeah, so this sourcing came from people familiar with the matter, as well as a memo that was sent out to those folks at Meta who work on Horizon. And the strategy for 2023 was laid out by VP of Horizon, Gabriel Aul, who just really drew out what the strategy is for the team and what the expectations are for the first half of the year and for the entirety of the year with that key goal being a million monthly active users by the end of 2023. Sal, why is Horizon World so important to Meta? I mean, you mentioned why these young users would be important to Horizon Worlds. They're going to be the natives on this new internet world. But why is it so particularly important to get this metaverse right? I think Horizon Worlds represents the future for Meta. A few years ago, they changed their name from Facebook to Meta to really highlight that their intention is to build out this new kind of internet where interacting with each other, not on static pages, but in virtual worlds where we're all in there simultaneously interacting. And Horizon is their first stab at building out this metaverse. This may not be the ultimate metaverse that really, you know, brings home the bacon for Meta, But where we're at now, this is their flagship product, and it's really important for them that they get this right, that they get some momentum, and that they kind of start to prove out to investors, to users, and really to themselves that this is a vision that they can really play out. But then it seems important, I guess, to understand why it's been so hard for them to keep users or get users on to Horizon in the first place, right? Yeah, definitely. And there's a variety of reasons for that, you know, some of them being that Toward the end of last year, the service had some bugs that really impacted user play, so much so that the entire unit went into a lockdown where they just did not put out any new features because they were focused on fixing all the problems. They've come out of that since then. But beyond bugs, another key obstacle for increasing that that user base is simply the fact that Right now, Horizon is limited to users who already own virtual reality headsets, specifically the Quest headsets made by Meta. 
And that's why another key part of the strategy for Horizon in 2023 is to release a so-called 2D version of Horizon, which could run on users' desktops, run on their phones, basically bringing Horizon beyond VR and to users who maybe you know can't get past that $400 buy-in tax to just even be able to use the product, but rather be able to use it on devices that they already own. Sal, Zuckerberg actually addressed this on Meta's fourth quarter earnings call. Let's uh, take a quick listen. Now, even though most of our Reality Labs investment is going towards future computing platforms, glasses, headsets, and, and the software to run them, um, as the technology develops, um, most people are going to experience the metaverse for the first time on phones and start building up their digital identities across our apps. So getting new users on the platform, keeping them coming back, offering new ways to get on Horizon World, that seems to be what the goal is. But I want to talk about the bigger picture, Sal, because Meta has gotten itself in hot water in the past for trying to get younger users on its platforms, for the ways younger users already on some of its social media platforms interact with it. It had this moment with Instagram where it was going to have Instagram for children that it's put on hold. So how does it plan to approach adding young users to Horizon Worlds, given that it's had these problems in the past? Yeah, that's a great question because this has been a source of friction for the company in the past. But in the memo, we can see that Meta is already thinking about this from the get-go. One of the key goals for the Horizon team in 2023 is that they also provide a safe and equitable experience. And the reason for that being one of the goals that's outlined in this memo is because they know that as they go after younger users, it's going to be very paramount, not just in their own experience of these users, but also in the perception that these kids are safe, that what's going on in this service is just something fun and not something that's going to be detrimental to them. At the same time, I think Meta is going to be enjoying a cushion here because Horizon, unlike Instagram, unlike Facebook, Horizon, it is a social experience, but it's also like a video game. And already teenagers are playing video games, including some rival games that are on VR headsets. So Although this has been, as I said, a source of friction for the company in the past, when it comes to virtual video games, it's very common that teenagers will be on them. All right, that was our reporter, Salvador Rodriguez. Sal, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. For more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.